sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world, too sexy for this ice, too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame. On the previous episode of Blogtober, we got cute and did a little Sunday fun day action. And we also linked up with your fave, Anthony xx one bobo and had a little fun conversation that was pretty funny. And I also caught another lizard in my garage. So if you guys have not checked out that vlog, definitely check it out. It's fun and filled with laughter and good for the soul. And yeah. If you're interested in seeing what's going on in this vlog, continue to watch. Somebody help me! Good morning! Welcome back to another weekly vlog, you guys. So, um, last night I was up watching YouTube videos and I was just scrolling on my homepage from my phone. Which I noticed has different videos on the phone, homes recommended, than on the TV. So anyway... It's so weird how our phone is so connected to us. Like sometimes I be feeling like my phone listening to me. Because I'll say something out loud. My back is hurting so bad. I'll say something out loud. I really got to start sleeping in a back brace. This is ridiculous. I'll say something out loud and then I'll start scrolling. Things will pop up on my screen that I'm just thinking about or maybe I have spoken about it's weird so anyway I was last night I was um in my bathroom and I had already been thinking about like wow I need to get a b12 shot I haven't gotten a b12 shot or an IV in a while and lo and behold as I'm scrolling on my home page on YouTube it says 10 it was like 10 symptoms that you may be B12 deficient in how it affects your health. So I watched the video and I got basically all the damn symptoms, Chad. So we are about to put some clothes on and go over to IV Nutrition, get a vitamin D shot, a B12 shot, and an IV. I have not eaten yet, um, so I'm completely fasted. Um, and it's always suggested that you get your IVs. You fast before you get any IVs. Um... <laughs> So it's best to do it early in the morning when you first wake up so you're like you're not super hungry and then hopefully by the time i'm done doing that um i can go pick up my my pills from amazon that i ordered that are supposed to help me um eat and have an appetite and just um eat better because i found them on amazon called eat more or something like that and i read the reviews and the reviews were really good and it's supposed to be all natural so um yeah, I'm going to give that a whirl and see if that helps. And I did go out and buy the Rapid Relief toothpaste that you guys told me about. Um, I haven't used it yet. I'm getting ready to use it now. Um, so I appreciate y'all. Like, I always say that, you know, influencers can be influenced by their audience as well. Like, y'all are always giving me, like, such good advice about how to, like, you know, cure my acne and you know all kinds of stuff and i just love y'all i really do so today's fragrance is barredo's bibliotheque i think in my last video somebody saw it and they asked me which one it was i couldn't remember the name at the time but it's bibliotheque it smells really good it's a fall fragrance it's very much fall and winter it kind of puts you in the mind of tom ford um black orchid it puts me in a mind of it because of how strong it projects and how heavy it smells but yeah i'm wearing that today it smells really good so we're about to head to IV nutrition and get a b12 shot and an iv and a vitamin d shot the reason why i'm getting vitamin d is because if you are vitamin d deficient which is very very hard to tell unless you go and get a lab test but if you're vitamin d deficient then you can take as many vitamins as you want whether it's iv intravenous or orally and your body will not absorb it because you need vitamin d in order to be able to absorb um other vitamins and stuff like that so and then not only that but like having a high metabolism and just being naturally thin 
it's very easy to be like malnutritious because uh, we metabolize everything so much faster than other people. So like whether we are pooping it out or peeing it out, it's just really difficult to uh, maintain a lot of our vitamins and minerals and stuff like that in our body. So I'm about to be doing this every week because I hate feeling fatigued. Like this is the worst feeling in the world. Just feeling dizzy and low energy all the time and not want to do nothing. I was wondering why was I so like sleepy all the time. Like what's wrong with me? And then that video popped up and saying, um, 10 symptoms of being B12 deficient and I knew that I I kind of feel like I was anyway and I was thinking that I needed a B12 shot so like that was just a sign because being B12 deficient can make you really 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 sick and have like be detrimental to your health like nerves and all that stuff so make sure y'all get y'all B12 shots our body does not make B12 so you have to supplement and get it through your diet and of course I haven't been eating properly so mm -hmm. mm, this smells so good Yeah, I was actually here to get that today too with the B12 and, a, and an IV. Okay. 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 So right now you guys, they are doing a uh, member's October special. One free Simply Sunshine uh, shot. So this is a vitamin D shot. Am I a member? Okay, we just scheduled our move, y'all. I heard my pinky nail so bad. We just scheduled our move, so I need to go to U Haul. I need to go to U Haul and uh, get some boxes. The, the moving company actually packs. So if I want them to help me pack, all I do, all I gotta do is call them and tell them that I want them to help me pack too. So no really big deal. They just charge me about an hour. But to be quite honest, I probably ain't gonna fold shit. I'm gonna throw that shit in the box and fold it when I take it out. You know what I'm saying? muscles and my TMJ because I've been clenching and grinding in my sleep. Especially when I forget to put my mouth guard on before I go to sleep. Like I wake up in the middle of the night. I literally like I can feel myself clenching my teeth. And I don't know if y'all know that but it hurt. It uh, causes you to have like real bad migraines and headaches clenching grind all right let's go in Neiman's so Justin LaBoy posted I'm convinced men be scared of women who got their shit together and then his caption was watch all the men skip this post though don't be trying to get back on my good side because you sure had a lot to say about Pisces but I can agree with this I definitely feel that this is true. I feel like the women who got a bag 
messed it up for the women who got a bag. Because if you got your shit together, that's power. That's power that can't be controlled. And you don't need a man. And men need to feel needed. So if you don't need them, then they don't need you. Because a lot of men have the hero syndrome. They want to save you. Like, niggas like to be able to broke bitch you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when when they done messing with you, they, they want to be able to call you a broke bitch. Naming everything that they done did for you. Everything you got on that they done did. Niggas is petty like that. They get real feminine. But... For the women who got a bag and got their shit together, now all of a sudden we lack feminine energy because we paying our own bills. Like make it make sense. So so you want me to struggle and beg and ask you to pay my bills so I can open my leg have a reason to open my legs. You just that's okay, it that sounds like prostitution. I am spreading my legs to you so you can pay my bills. I don't want to do that. That's why motherfuckers be having to get that little tightening procedure. Because y'all just, y'all doing it too much. Y'all having too much sex. Sit down somewhere and pay your own bills. I don't be having sex a lot. I keep that thing nice and tight. And as long as I ain't taking no medicine for my motherfucking acne. Juicy. That's why I'm back on that macaroot. <laughs> that macaroot. That macaroot gonna hear you. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Let's go. Let's go get us some new perfume, y'all. Come on. Chipotle. I just had me a brisket burrito bowl again. This is like my fourth one. And I'm so sad because they only gonna have it for a limited amount of time. A limited amount of time. So it's not gonna stay on the menu where you can always order it. So I'm trying to get mine. Why is you staring at me, sir? Ooh, girl, you almost got hit. Um... It's not going to always be on the menu to order it, so I'm trying to get it in while they still got it, child, because it is good. I don't know why they not keeping it on the menu. Like, what's that about? You need to keep the brisket on the menu. Take that other step off. So now we're about to go to Home Depot and get some boxes because, yay, I finally scheduled my move. <laughs> I'm moving Wednesday. I was supposed to move Tuesday, but I gotta get my nails done. I'm gonna take y'all with me this time because last time I didn't and y'all had a little problem with it. So um, Tuesday I'm getting my nails done and this one is like lifting so I can't I can't reschedule it. So I just pushed the move because I don't have like a deadline to be out of my apartment. <clears throat> um, I can take my time. So all this weekend I will be packing and I want to have a little packing party. I want my friends to come over and help me pack. To have a packing party. Maybe Anthony and Rich, because y'all love them so much and they're so funny. Maybe Rich said something that was so damn funny the last time, but I wasn't even filming when he said it, so y'all missed it. But that man, Rich is funny as fuck. Rich is very, very funny. Anthony is funny, but Rich is funny. He is very unfiltered and funny. So I sleep want to have a pecking party and them come over and he'll be pecked. But I don't know. That IV has definitely kicked in and it's already started working instantaneously. 
So for the next couple of months, I'm going to be getting B12 shots once a week, every week to um, kind of help treat my B12 deficiency. And then I'm going to start taking some iron pills too because um, I be real cold. Like, I just walked in Chipotle, and it was freezing in there to me. And I know it really wasn't that cold. But to, for me, it was freezing in there. So it, it got to be something with my hemoglobin and my iron. All right, let's go get us. Let's get us some boxes. Excuse me. Hey, girl. Where's your packing supplies, boxes, and stuff? Uh, right down here at the end of where that uh, machine is and uh -huh. take a right like okay. you're going outside. Okay, thank you. Wow, he's tall. Prices on boxes. Y'all ain't fooling me. Y'all ain't fooling me. That look just like the Reebok. Y'all ain't did nothing but remix the Reebok. Still in our dances. Really, the Reebok ain't even mine. That wasn't even my generation. That's more like my mother's, honestly. But still, I see you. So guess what I did, y'all? This little pouch right here. I have all my my cards, my debit cards, credit cards. I did y'all that in it, right? I didn't zip it up. So when I get in Home Depot, I don't know what made me look in it, but when I looked in it, I realized I ain't had none of my cards. I'm like, oh shit, they have fallen out. So I didn't panic. I won't say I panicked, cause I'm thinking, oh, I, I, I must've left them by my computer at home because I was updating my address on my driver's license. I'm so organized now. <laughs> I used to never do that. I'd be living somewhere for like a whole year before I updated my address. But I had to. And shout out to the PayPal Courtney, also friends, who let me know that I could do that online because I was really about to drive up to the DMV just to do that. And I'm so glad I did not because I had to edit the video that went up today. I actually edited, got up this morning, edited that whole thing, and it went live today. Like I had a full work day and I managed to finish editing it because I got up at like, I started editing around like nine and I finished it at like, I finished editing around one song because I wanted it to go live at three, but I ain't make it. Um, it takes so long to process anyway. Um, today was a, a basically a full work day. So anyway, when I got to Home Depot, I realized that I had left my I had left my cards at home. Got home, saw that they were not by my computer. I'm like, oh shit! Well, let me go look in my car. I looked in my car, they was under my seat. I'm so thankful for that because, wow! Talk about all access to my funds if somebody had a gap. 
those cards like wow I'm talking about all access cash out PayPal or both bank accounts Ooh, honey anyway by the grace of God they was just under my seat so since I was already at home I was like well shit the video I almost done uploading let me go upstairs and I feel like that was just a sign from God anyway because the video is doing very very well thank thank you God thank you thank you um <clears throat> analytically so I just went upstairs and made sure that I did my thumbnail and the description box and stuff like that and now I'm headed back to low so I even watched the whole video because when I was done editing usually when I'm done editing a video I'll watch it all the way through to see if I missed anything or if something needs to be taken out or whatnot I'll watch it one more time before I upload it but I didn't even do it this this time I just like watched it that one time and while I was editing it and then I uploaded it so um yeah, so I watched it all the way through while I uh, responded to a few comments. I'm talking about laughing so damn hard. Y'all, that video funny as hell. And what's so crazy is like when I be filming and just, you know, doing my daily vlogs and living life, I just be doing this shit like I don't even be trying to be funny. And I forget that I do a lot of this stuff. So when I'm editing it, I be dying laughing because I be like, bro, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Like, why, why, why did you say that? That's so crazy. It's crazy. But I be having a, I be having so much fun when I edit my videos. Like I be rolling laughing. I think, I know that I'm funny. I know that I'm funny. Cause I be having myself laughing. Don't nobody else have to laugh. Shit, as, as long as I laugh, shit, I'm good. All right, I'm about to see if my basket's still over there in the paint section. Nope. Damn. Put my basket back. like an e-receipt? So, I got some paint samples here. Oh, it's looking off-white. So I got six. Looking like it too. And white. 
So we got melting ice circles, white, bakery box to white, okay, it's going to be between melting ice circles and white. First and foremost, I want to thank one of the PayPal's for sending me this candle. I've had it for a while. This is a from Aura Company and Wicks, and this is the Abundance Manifest candle. So I lit that last night. Then another PayPal sent me a candle too. This one. It's Man Crush. This is from Aroma Sensations. This is from a PayPal as well. Aroma Sense Sensations. And the website is www.aromasensations.net. And this is Man Crush. This smells so good. As you can see, it's almost gone. I've been burning the ish out of it. So I want to thank both of you PayPal's for sending that. Thank you so much. I love how y'all just keep my home smelling good and y'all always sending me such thoughtful things um and i be using them but i always forget to mention them in vlogs sometimes so i wanted to make sure that i pointed that out that i have been using your candles that you all have sent me and thank you so much for that so i just took my little uh eat more pills my stomach growling and i am craving a fish fillet so I'm about to go to McDonald's and get me a fillet of fish in a good neighborhood though so it's fresh so I gotta go to the other side of town cuz I want a real strong coke with it too and then we gonna go to the grocery store cuz you never go to the grocery store hungry you end up buying a whole bunch of stuff that you're not even gonna eat and um yeah let me put some sunscreen on because the sun is out today and this is one of them days i choose to put on sweats i'm gonna be sweaty um make sure you put it on your, your neck and your chest honey because your neck tell your age before anything unfortunately i've always had lines in my neck so there's nothing that i could do about it But um, this is the Tula sunscreen. This is literally the only sunscreen I can use that don't break me out. I think I've talked about it in several vlogs. And it give you a real nice glow. Kind of smell like paint when you put it on. Oh, I need to go to Home Depot and buy some paint. I'm glad I thought about that. Y'all, so I just sprayed on Mason Marjorie. Oh, what the fuck? Ah,
think it was her. Lord, I'm itching. It could have been a spider. Now I'm itching. <sighs> Let me smoke. I need to calm my nerves. <sighs> my chiropractor got bit by a brown recluse, so. In her home, in her home, she think in her bed. Oh, child. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. On both her ankles. I ain't even really scared of spiders, but they're brown recluse. That brown recluse had me throwing shit at it because I definitely ain't gonna try to step on it. I pray that that was my hero. I pray that that was my hero. But you know what we finna do? We finna go wash this car. Maybe I should take them bat boxes out and put them in the garage. Can I get a filet of fish combo with a coat and a Oreo McFlurry and an apple pie? Yeah, that's it. Twelve sixty-three. Wow. That is expensive. I am shocked that they ice cream machine works. You gotta tell, tell you, go in a good neighborhood. I drove all the way out to, where am I? I don't know what this area is. Hey, Suri, what area am I in? You're at 6521 East Northwest Highway, Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm close to, I'm close to Garland. Well, no, I, I guess I'm closer to, I don't know where I am. Don't listen to me. I don't know what part of town I'm in. I'm over by North Park Mile somewhere in this area. You give me a feeling that I never Hey girl. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Alright, give me a big ass coat. Now let's find us some shade. We're gonna have a car picnic. Oh, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea at all. Why y'all let me get a McFlurry? And y'all know my teeth sensitive. I wish y'all had my bag.
Child, the power went out in the car wash. The little blue things that, that wipe your cars, the, the big old things that, you know, it was just sitting on top of his car. I know he was scared. I know he was scared. Like, what? Because he was trapped inside of it. Like, if 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 it had, if it had stayed out, he would have been trapped inside. He wouldn't have been able to get out of his car. That's suspicious. Oh, Lord. This here is also true for you. It's not like every night I do your rules to you. I ain't here, it's more as bad as you. It's like I got a high, I'm feeling high. So you still think I'm confident in the world. Is this gonna last? I'm all the better better stuff. I'm over too fast. I feel like I'm in crazy competition with the past. Why I got a high? I wanna try Stick my tongue up and down your spine You got that perfect shape The love you make I scream your name Wanna take all your clothes off Sex you to the sun and goes up Y'all, why am I trying to go to the grocery store And I ain't got no room in the back of my car I ain't got no room in the trunk No room in the back seat So I can't go overboard the passenger side so Target is out of the question. Ooh, that baby clean. Hey, clean. Hey. Hey, baby. Y'all, I am so lifted right now. And I only had like a half of a cone. Like I'm so lifted. <laughs> I feel good. The only thing I don't like about this strand though, the indica, is it make you feel so tired. I wonder it's called endo, because it keep you endos. Shit. decision that's the dumbest decision one could ever make cuz I am so tired
Do you have a cash out? No. You don't? No. Okay. Damn, he ran all the way from the store to this little car where I pay for parking to bring me my phone. I ain't got no cash up though, and I ain't had no cash on me. I was gonna send him somewhere. That was so sweet of him. There's a lot of good people in the world, man. For real. Because anybody else would have just waited till I came back up there and turned it into customer service. But he chased me down and brought me my phone. Bless his heart. Bless his sweetheart. Oh God, I'm tired, y'all. I could go home. I, I was gonna go to Home Depot and pick up this paint, but I'm tired. Hey, y'all. Good afternoon. Well, it's good morning. I am um, right now making me some breakfast, y'all. Let me tell you. Last night, yesterday, I went and bought some groceries. I went and bought these um grapes and they're like sitting right in the front and as you can see it says prepared in store now usually if the fruit come in a bowl like this and it says prepared in store it's already washed right whoever prepared these didn't wash them and i'm so used to just opening open it damn I'm so used to just opening them and eating them straight out the bowl. I don't wash them, but now I feel like I should. And I need to call up there and talk to customer service and tell them somebody back there is not washing the fruit. Like these are supposed to be ready to eat, right? It was a bug in these, a dead bug in these. It was like a fruit flap of steel. So, I washed them. I'm scared to eat them now, though. Because y'all know, like, all, the, all these, like, um, onions and all these different, like, vegetables are having, like, salmonella um, in them and stuff like that. So, you got to be careful with fresh fruit and, like, produce and stuff. Like, God, what is going on with the world? I can't take it. Like, if it ain't COVID, it's something else. Like, we need a break. We need a break. And then last night, y'all, for a snack, I had, for the first time, a peanut butter and banana sandwich. First of all, it was so good. Like, I'm like, why haven't I been eating this? This is my Dr. Dennis Grove Daily Pills. I'm doing a neutralizer now. I already did the uh the other one. The first step. And I wanna get oh wow, that's coming off. And I wanna get SK2, the essence. And I wanna try it for 30 days and see if it changes the texture of my skin and just gives me a a nice youthful glow. At night, instead of putting down the white, like electronic shades, I just kind of drag these over and you feel like you have enough privacy. So I'm sitting here watching Danielle Bernstein's My Soho Home Tour. Um, I've been watching these a lot today in Lifetime movies too, black ones. Um, just trying to get like some inspiration of what I want to do to my town home and how I want to decorate because I don't want to do glam maximalist this time. I want to do, um, uh, neutral minimalist vibe. I just want it to be nice and clean and aesthetically pleasing, but like not a lot of knickknacks, maybe in the office or something like that. But, like, not a lot of knickknacks, not a lot of, like, clutter. I really just want it to be clean, spacious, and bring in as much light as possible. So, I don't want a lot of dark furniture. Um, accent furniture, yes, but for the most part, 
And it's so crazy that this is where I am in life because I always said that I would never have a white uh, white decor in my home. But from having the white sheds here and the white couches here and the gray couch, like I love it with the, with the pop of color, uh, the blue. I loved it so much that I was like, okay, in my town home, I want to do something similar, but the pop of color is going to be black. What's up, you cool kittens and cats? So, <laughs> so I'm over Courtney house. She about to wash my hair and um, braid it back down. Y'all, I'm not gonna take my head off right now, but when she get ready to take down a braid, I'm gonna let her show y'all how long my new growth is. This, um. Ooh, it smells so good. This shampoo, this Viore shampoo that I used on Kyron's hair, I've been washing my hair with it too. You know, rice water is really good for hair growth and thickening your hair. Y'all, my new growth is so long. Like, like I'm pulling my braid up. It's my my new growth is a, at least an inch and a half, at the very least, from what I can feel. Just just thumbing through the chick. You know what I'm saying? Sure, y'all need to get this shampoo. This some good shampoo, and it's a bar soap. It lasts so long. You know, I don't wash my hair a lot. <clears throat> it be braided up for a good month and a half, two months. Don't judge me. Dirty hair grows faster. It does. And she is a licensed master, master instructor in hairstylist. Okay, period. So if she second that emotion, then it's true, Smokey Robinson. and two extra large boxes but all of the small boxes have been used all of the medium boxes have been used and it's still so much more to pick <laughs> dun 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 Cue the scary movie music. I mean, I feel like... Ooh, cha. I feel like this might get in the six wardrobe boxes. I feel like... I feel like... And then we have two extra large boxes for the closet. So... But we need more medium boxes... And some more small boxes. No, we just need more medium boxes. But a lot of this stuff is staying. So. Do it when you love that it's I Thought it make me feel better. I finally got you out my bed. But I.
Hey y'all, good afternoon. Ooh, child. So I got um some new hair. I'm wearing some new hair. This is from one of the PayPal's. It's from Crown Main. Uh, her IG is at crowned underscore main. And you can scan that QC code with your phone. She made this wig by hand. Um, I used to make wigs like this um, with a dome cap. Um, it's customized. It fits really good. This is a closure unit. So um, I'm just about to, it's flat ironed, I already flat ironed it, but I'm just about to like actually install it because I haven't done that. Y'all know I like to, to make sure it's laying flat, flat with my iron. Just gonna do a little bit of baby hairs right here, that little swoopy swoop thing. Oh, you still don't make it feel beautiful, I know, but I do, just know I got you. Alright, you cool kittens and cats. Here, let's go get these nails done. I'm taking y'all with me this time. I didn't take y'all with me last time. So I'm taking y'all with me this time. Cause I know that made y'all feel some type of way. Damn, I got on the wrong part. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm getting my nails done. I have no idea. I do know that I want a Halloween theme though. I do know that. Oh y'all, remind me to go to a Halloween store because Cynthia wants us to dress up for Halloween on her birthday because her birthday is Halloween. She's a Halloween baby. And she wants us to dress up for, for Halloween. And I ordered a freaking, the, I ordered the costume that she wanted us to wear. And I ordered it, I ordered it in a smile. And that motherfucker won't go past my hips. It won't go past my hips. Cynthia got a medium. She swear. She swear my booty bigger than hers. I'm like, Cynthia, no, my booty is not bigger than yours. What are you talking about? Like, your booty is huge. How did you get... She ordered a medium. I'm like, how did you get in a medium? Because I'm not a medium. How did you get a medium? She was like, girl, I hop, skipped, and jumped in that damn medium. I'm like, I know you fucking did, but I wasn't able to do that. I, there was no way I was going to be able to get and if I had to get it on I would have had to cut it off because even because I cut the crotch part right trying to improvise and I was just going to take to the cleaners head them um, uh, put some velcro on it because I don't really like putting on bodysuits that I can't unsnap anyway that, that annoyed the shit out of me so I was going to have them make it where I can like unsnap it when I got to go pee and stuff because you know she been drinking a lot of water or whatever she goes to the bathroom a lot so check when I got, when I pulled it, I, I cut the crotch part so I could pull it over my head. Maybe my back too wide. I gotta be a boy back. I couldn't even zip it up. I'm like, Yandy. So I ordered it from Yandy.com. Yandy. What size women is a small? Like, according to according to your measurements, what is a small? Cause I'm 137 pounds. I know good and damn well I'm a small. Now, if I was 147, yeah, I'm a medium. But I'm 137. How the fuck am I a small? How the fuck am I not a small? So we're gonna go to this damn. We're gonna go to. We're gonna have to find us a, a Halloween store somewhere around here where I can find a freaking black bodysuit. 
a black satin bodysuit because ma'am specific so yeah to repack some stuff um i packed my perfume shop with all my perfume in one box at the bottom i ain't put no padding underneath and nothing like that and you know i don't spend too much money on my perfume to put it in the hands of men that don't understand if y'all break it you bought it okay so i'm gonna repack it and pad it so like with towels and stuff so like just in case i'm not saying something's gonna happen but first of all the box is really heavy and these these guys have two flights of stairs to climb so i don't know i'm just trying to be a little more considerate in how i pack so i'm gonna put them in separate boxes and yeah try to pack up all the rest of this stuff that's going y'all want to pack for me y'all want to have a little picnic party okay come on let's do it <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. No, no problem. Y'all gonna have a little. We're gonna run a door, a door jam, all that stuff. And this brings like some trees and stuff up here. Are you the supervisor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here's a. Uh... Try them some little bit of boys. I'm thinking they could have bring some old, strong men like strong with it. S and a K and a R, not an S and a T and R. Scrum. But uh, okay, I mean y'all gotta, y'all gonna need two men on these boxes, cause baby, the way she picked these boxes, <laughs> if if you don't lift weights, it's gonna be a little struggle. All right, so I'm about to bring some material. I'm just gonna go over some stuff with you. Okay. How long you been a blogger for? 
A year. You, you liking it so far? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's pretty, probably uh, pretty flexible and everything mm-hmm. like that. It's flexible, lucrative, all the above. Yeah, this, the move is going to be easy, so mm-hmm. don't let the shit everywhere get you like, oh, yeah. oh God. Yeah, Cause you're not moving we see none some crazy of this, stuff, yeah. this fent furniture. It's, mm-hmm. it's once the boxes in the bed and all this stuff out here, you will see like, oh, this ain't nothing. Yeah, it's not at all. But these boxes are heavy. Hey, I believe. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> so. The great thing about it is, mm-hmm. this heavy stuff moving it out will be easy. And then the the work is going to be at the townhouse. Okay. Cause it's three stories, and I saw that in detail, most yeah. of it is going to the third floor, like the, the second floor, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. about to go take a little lunch break and so am I because I have not eaten anything all day and my legs are starting to ache which is a telltale sign that I need to eat I don't know why my legs ache when I'm hungry and I haven't eaten all day which uh, that's what they do and I listen to my body when it does that so I'm about to go to Chevron gas station give me a quarter and some fries because that's what I'm in the mood for and it's soft it's soft to bite into so hopefully they don't well the other day it was soft but you know that mother hit the spot oh god you know it's so crazy how much stuff I had in that one bedroom apartment so imagine, which I don't plan on doing anytime soon, because I've been living there for four years. Imagine how much shit I'm going to have leaving a three-bedroom, three-bath. I plan on it not being that much. I plan on it. Because I want to do a minimal vibe. So it's, um, and what's so crazy is like I'm looking at the my stuff on the, the truck. It's not a lot of stuff. It's not a lot of stuff. But it took them so long to, um, to get It took them so long to get everything on the truck because they had, they, they, one thing I can say about all my sons moving company is that they make sure they protect yourself. So they like shrink wrapped everything, taped up everything, padded everything. So that's why it took so long because I was more than anything out of everything that I have. Don't crack my mirror and don't crack my mirror dresser. That's the most important. And oh, and don't break none of my perfume. So yeah. Hey y'all. We making progress. Maybe this little one be wrong move was high. I better start saving for the three bit wrong move. Which ain't gonna be no time soon, but I better start putting a little, little, little some aside in my piggy bank shed. Cause this one, this one cheap. Ooh, Lord. Okay, y'all. Yeah. 
Okay, we are all moved in. I'm gonna unpack when I come back from vacation. I'm not unpacking now. But I do need to go in a few boxes. I, I'm still... Okay, my bags are still packed from, from Turkey. So, it's stuff in there that I never wore when I was in Turkey. Shoes, everything. So, what I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is to just keep what's in there. Wash it, wash the pajamas and the, you know, the little stuff that I had in there and take that. I do need to go back over to my apartment and get some stuff out of the laundry cause I was washing while I was packing. So I left a couple of things and tomorrow I also have my housekeepers to come in over there to do a clean. And I have some stuff that I need to donate to Salvation Army too. But for the most part, I mean, it's ready to go. All I need to do is like buy a bed and a mattress and then it's, it'll be ready to go. But it's a nice little echo in here. Um, yeah, my bags are pretty much already packed. I just gotta pack my makeup, find it in one of these boxes pack my makeup and um oh yeah you guys i got my new shoes that i wanted i literally just got them in the mail today so we're gonna unbox these i'm so excited we're gonna unbox these and try them on because i just i just i just i ordered a 38 so i hope they fit because if they don't fit i'm gonna be mad but both take the shoes kind of run big so i think i'll be okay So there will be a closet organization video coming soon mm -hmm. because I'm not doing it tonight. But I do want to get as much boxes in the bedroom unpacked as possible. You know what I'm saying, girl? And eventually, we're going to get all new hangers because this is annoying. So the movers damaged some of my stuff. They actually broke this mirror here. They broke it down at the bottom. You can't see it, but I can. Right there. Right there in the corner. They broke a chip off of that mirror. More than anything, out of everything that I have, don't crack my mirror and don't crack my mirror dresser. That's the most important. And they also chipped my dresser yep they chipped it it's pretty bad on the back we will have to file a claim and 
possibly attempt to get reimbursed for the damages. Also, they scratched my one of my leather chairs here. Yep. That move was expensive as fuck for it to be a one bedroom and we ain't even take the whole one bedroom. I like we still left a lot of furniture and that move was exp expensive as fuck. But I mean, if I was more prepped and ready, <clears throat> it wouldn't have been. I mean, breaking down the bed, wrapping everything, taping everything, and they taped up everything. They taped up stuff that didn't even need to be taped up. And they taped up stuff that still got damaged. But whatever. We won't worry about it because we are blessed. So I tried on a new hat. This is the one that I went back in the store and got. This one fits so much better. And I realized that you're not supposed to wear like a cowboy hat. You're supposed to wear it like this. And it's called a fedora. But ain't this cute? And it's burgundy or whatever. I don't have anything to go with it. So I'm not wearing it. Plus like where we going is it's like tropical. So we don't need no hat and we don't need nothing. Fall vibes. We could have put on some summer colors. But yeah, um, I really wanted to make sure that I um, spent the birthday with Cynthia because she made it possible. But yeah, I really wanted to make sure that regardless of me moving or whatever I had going, that I was going to go and, and celebrate Cynthia's birthday with her. Wherever she decided to go in the world, I was going to be there as long as that Too sexy for this sir, too sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world, too sexy for this eye, too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah.